and Madame Javi, my distinguished colleagues from the United States, my distinguished colleagues from around the globe who, as we join together to uh, recognize, celebrate, honor, and embrace the goals, the missions, the aspirations of the NCRI. And on this particular moment, I must say that it is an honor, actually it's a very humbling honor, to be in the presence, the physical presence, of the men and women of Ashraf 1, of Camp Liberty, and Ashraf 3. It is, I am honored to be in your presence, and I want to thank you for your invitation. As we briefly toured the exhibit hall, and where there are names and faces and history associated with the sacrifice and courage of those who have gone before you, and as we all know, unfortunately, until we have a free, open, pluralistic, non-nuclear Iran around the principles that Madame Rajavi and the NCRI have embraced, there'll be others who will perish in that cause. 40 plus years, in addition to embracing your goal of a free and open and pluralistic Iran, you've shed your blood and you have signed your own personal declaration of independence, and you will not be satisfied until that day for you and your children and your grandchildren is realized in Tehran. And I admire it. The world admires it. And the rest of the world needs to understand that we're not dealing with a moderate regime in Iran. I frankly take personal umbrage when I read about it in some of the publications in my own country. No moderate regime suppresses dissent. No moderate regime subjects repression, imprisonment, torture, and death, those who dissent. No moderate regime does everything it can to displace and do, to disassemble those who would gather in protest. No moderate regime acts like the Mullahs in Iran. No moderate regime sends terror support to Sudan, South Sudan, to Tehran. No moderate regime is responsible for the instability in the Middle East. And from time to time, I think maybe we've, our ambition is too low. Our goals are not high enough. From time to time, as I take a look at this modern regime, maybe the regime should be viewed as a foreign terrorist organization, because at its heart, that's exactly what it is. And I think of the exhibit that I just walked through. It's a country that you want to take back. And for 40 years, as you take a look at those men and women, you listen to that history, the MEK and NCRI, you just keep coming, and you just keep coming, and you just keep coming. But it's that free and independent. We admire your courage, your resiliency, your bravery, your determination, and you will achieve what you sought out so many years ago. May God continue to bless you in your march to Tehran.